the first gate I've seen in a while. I need to keep those gates in this side. So uh, I've just come from Valley of the Rocks, a quarter of a mile. Seemed longer than that. Public footpath, Linton, a quarter of a mile. And what's down here? Lynmouth, half a mile. Well, that's got to be the one, isn't it? Let's take this unmade path down to Lynmouth. Too bad a path. One of the only things, though, is um, about an hour and three quarters ago now I parked up. So I've only got an hour and a quarter left. And uh, if I walk for more than half an hour, 45 minutes, I'm going to struggle to get back in time. And that would be so annoying to get a parking ticket. Unlikely, but another benefit of looking for these out-of-town places. Because then you can just go off exploring all day and not having to worry. It's a nice cool breeze walking through this woodland. See the estuary. I'm assuming the River Lynn, as we have a Linton and a Lynmouth. I've also got to remember the golden rule about these walks. It's been down here on half for the last quarter of a mile, half a mile perhaps. Which means I've got to go back up it at some point, or a different hill. I haven't really considered where I'm going to park up. Stuff camp for the night. The lay-by I was in earlier. I saw a couple more lay-bys nearer to the town, but probably that picnic site and lay-by out of town, a few miles back up the road. But I will also, while I'm in this town now, have a look out for anywhere that's suitable. If there's some on-street parking without houses nearby, that could be ideal. So, one of the things is I'm always on the lookout, thinking, yeah, that would be ideal to camp there. I'm, I'm hoping There's no parking charges in Limmouth after 6 o'clock because I should go back, get the car and drive down to Limmouth, park up. Sunset's not due till 8 o'clock so I have a couple of hours in town. Perhaps start putting some videos together on a few behind so I've got a lot of files on my GoPro at the moment and although they're all backed up to my computer external hard drive it's so much easier just to do them straight from the GoPro, transferring wirelessly across. Well, I'm coming down to a huge car park and a very rocky beach. The thing with car parks is they all have the no restrictions, no camping, no sleeping in vehicles. do see a lot of camper vans around but there's no problem with sleeping on the side of the road it's just the car parks I could see through uh, Google Maps that this was a large there was a large estuary here at Lymouth and with the tide being out more effective. So this car park is 10 till 6 and the usual no overlight sleeping. So these are the type of shots you see on the websites and the tourist brochures. The signpost back there just said England's little Switzerland where Exmoor National Park meets the sea. So North Devon isn't the place you come if you want to build sandcastles on your summer holiday. 
very few sandy beaches and the ones that are are very shingly be interesting to know if there are any so different to Senon Cove down in Cornwall the other day so so different glorious turquoise waters and white sandy beaches So this strip of road here is perfect. Um, two hours parking, no return within two hours, 10 till six. And Good Friday to the 31st of October. Okay, so perhaps the claim of little Switzerland, England's little Switzerland, isn't too optimistic. Switzerland with seagulls. So Limoth is certainly different to what I've seen so far. Continually be, being surprised on this trip. Even though I'm only a day away now from the end of part one the end of the south coast that's not the sign you want to see Linton and a gradient of 25% So spectacular waterfalls, even if not overly tall. And a bit of a feature going on there with the spray and the old lifeboat to the left there. Right, well I've got to go uphill now. So I'll probably be 20 minutes after I get to the top of the hill, I'll have my breath back. changed my mind on the road the road was steep that wasn't the problem the footpath I've just taken probably steeper but the road was narrow and no footpath on the side of it which I thought was unusual because there must be a way between the two towns as they advertise overflow parking from one to the other but there's an easier way and I'm halfway up already That's an easy way to the top, but I'm halfway up now. I'm the only fool walking up. Everybody else goes up by chain railway. Some come down by it as well. But they go up by chain railway. And walk back down. What an interesting rooftop. The cone. 